Across Azeroth, there are a lot of hidden places to be found that exist off the beaten path. No quests will send you to these places, and usually they require a bit of swimming or a flying mount to get to. For these reasons, these places are special, and they stand out because they're kind of a secret. Not everybody knows about them. With that said, we're going to talk about 10 of these secret locations in World of Warcraft. Let's get started! Number 10. You ever just stand at the edge of a cliff and look down into a swirling watery vortex of terror and been like, you know, I should jump down into that shit. Well, you know what, man? We've all been there. And if you jump into the swirling watery vortex in Darkshore, you're in for a nice surprise. Beneath the maw of the void, there's a cavern where you can meet a demon hunter named Talarius of Void Strider. If you kill him, you take part in a short quest chain that'll lead to the achievement Ghosts in the Dark. And don't worry, before you ask how in the world you get out of that place, there's an NPC located in the chamber that'll teleport you back to the surface, free of charge. Number 9. Are you tired of your boring life? Yes. Want to find a good place to retire? Yeah, this does okay, I guess. Well, then what you need is a nice, relaxing trip to the Goblin Spa and Sea Resort in Southern Feralis. Well, sounds dumb. <laughs> That's right, Billy. Our staff are beaten mercilessly every evening to provide you with the greatest customer service that you have ever seen. We will wash your mount, you can take a ride on a boat, or you can just stand in line for a snack. Whatever you want, it's here. Let's just ask one of our guests to see what he has to say. Sir, what do you have to say about the Goblin Spa and Beachside Resort? Yes! And there you have it. Now then, if you're not going to pay to stay here, get the fuck off my property. Number 8. While we're on the subject of Feralis, let's go a little bit north to Lake Dermont. Nestled in the mountains just above Dire Maw, you can find a big body of water with a little island in the center of it. On this island, you'll find a mage tower with a ton of named NPCs that represent Blizzard employees. What makes the tower interesting, though, is the fact that the mage tower is, well, destroyed. Yet the NPCs don't really seem to care. So I guess you could say this is supposed to be some sort of token to the madness of the employees at Blizzard. Well, I like it. Number 7. Living in the harsh mountains of Cosmodan can be pretty hard on any dwarf. So if you'd like to get away from all the snow and the annoying gnomes, why not just retire to the farm on the eastern coast of Arathi Highlands? Rolling fields of wheat, a stable for all your mounts, and a cozy fire will help warm your bed. It's truly paradise, and it comes complete with a great view of a bunch of Alliance battleships threatening genocide on the orcs. Ah, what more could you want in life? If you're ever in the market for a little R&R, check this place out. You won't be disappointed. Number 6. Pandaria is a land of many beautiful locations, but nestled high in the hills is the Secret Airy, a place where the people of the sky train hawks and eagles for something. In the Secret Airy, you'll find the people of the sky hard at work, like this woman making a boat. These two Pandaren, who are arguing over whether or not they should kill the dog who just pooped on the floor. And this young lady, practicing bird jitsu. It's a mountain retreat you can go to when you want to get away from it all. And with the company of hawks and an amazing view, it's one of Pandaria's little treasures. Number 5. Mulgore is a place of beauty, but nestled high up in its mountains is probably the greatest genocide being committed in all of World of Warcraft. Some of the small critters, driven by their lust for power, greed, and the need to dominate all life, are now using weapons and have learned to use armor. Using their superior technology, they are subduing the smaller critters in the area, killing them mercilessly so that they can establish a dominion over all of the mountains that stand above Mulgor. This is probably one of the greatest wars happening in all of Azeroth, and yet it's barely even mentioned. Every day, thousands of innocent rabbits, chipmunks, squirrels, and rats are killed without mercy or regret by these tyrants. So if you ever happen by the mountains above Mulgor, Help the little critters out, lest they be wiped out from the face of Azeroth. Number 4 Some hidden locations in World of Warcraft are so well hidden that I'm actually curious how in the world people originally found it. If you go off the coast of Tanaris, really far past the fatigue line, and you swim to the very bottom, what you'll find is the Gnomish Village. 
It's everything you'd expect a little gnome village to be. It's got happy little buildings with cozy interiors, it's got beds, and it's got pointless machinery laying around. This is a place that, although it is far away, you can reach it, but you need to heal the living crap out of yourself in order to reach the bottom, otherwise the fatigue is going to kill you extremely quick. But, if you make it, you can brag to all your friends that you probably reached one of the most out-of-the-way locations in all of World of Warcraft. Number 3. One of my favorite locations in all of World of Warcraft is the beautiful, the wonderful, Elwyn Waterfalls. It comes complete with a happy little tent, an amazing view, and a little sheep farm up on a hill. Now if you're going to be a complete asshole and attack the sheep, be careful, because this little guy has put a nice security system in for people like you. It's an awesome spot, and you can find it just north of Elwyn Forest above Northshire Abbey. It's a place that I feel a lot of people do know about, though, but it's still an awesome secret location, and it's a place you really can't get to without a flying mount. So, low-level players, you'll get there eventually. Number 2 The WKM Room is a place that I had no idea about until I made this list, so it was a nice surprise. What this room is, is really anybody's guess. It's a hidden room that you can get to inside of Orgrimmar, and inside is a plaque that reads WKM. Now here's what's interesting. A player actually sent a ticket into a GM asking what these initials stood for, or what this thing means, what this room is all about, and the GM had absolutely no idea. It's just like a little easter egg in the game, and no one's entirely sure what it's all about. It could be a secret passcode to the Illuminati, or it could just be the initials of the guy who helped rebuild Orgrimmar with the Cataclysm revamp. Either way, it's anybody's guess, and because of the mystery around it, I think it's a pretty interesting little spot. And I didn't know about it, so I just thought it'd be interesting to put it on the list. Number 1 So here we are at last at number 1 the number one secret location in World of Warcraft, and it's a place that I find to be particularly interesting, and I think there's a lot of speculation behind it. So, without further ado, the number one is... The Whispering Forest. Now when you first find this place, it might not seem all that special. You'll find a bunch of trees, it'll look pretty, you'll see a lake, you'll see this guy who apparently got stabbed in the ass, However, upon closer observation, you'll find a ring of mushrooms, and if you time it right, you'll get to observe one of the most cool things in World of Warcraft. A bunch of fey dragons will appear, and they'll start to sing around the mushroom circle, sending off beams of light from one to another. All the other animals in the forest will come to watch, and you're just going to be standing there thinking, what the hell is going on? Suddenly, the ritual will stop, and the Fey Dragons will just fly away and fade out to wherever they came from, and this has led to a lot of speculation. Some people believe that this might be the area where the High Elves first landed in Eastern Kingdoms, and there's some sort of magic about it that the Fey Dragons are calling upon or singing about. Another theory is maybe the Whispering Forest is linked to the Emerald Dream or the Emerald Nightmare in some way. Or, if you want to be really crazy, you can say that there's a giant old god beneath Tirus Fall Glades, and it's right here. Like, it's, it's buried, like, right here. Like, no joke, like, it's right there. Really, it's anybody's guess, but the speculation behind this area and the fact it's just really cool makes it just an awesome, interesting, hidden spot in the game. It's one of those areas that as soon as you get your flying mount, go check it out, and maybe you'll get to hear the Fey Dragon singing their little song, and then you can come up with your own conclusions.